Grandwick, the uh, two mile group one handicap, the Sydney Cup on the soft ground, yeah, in Sydney. One is reader response, the to top weight for Vinnie Gerard. Two is beam, Craig Beckwith. Three is dilemma, Paul Rhodes. Those three are unbeaten. Four is Lakeland Highlands. Five, Punta Rossa. Roaring Hawk for Dan Hughes. King at Night, Leon from Rensburg. Charming Princess, Dave Hooley. Harriet Tidley, David Ladd. Uh, Braska Briggs, Joshua Sullen, Nine Lives, Joshua Sullen, Harbour in October, Graham Clutterbuck, Hidden Stance, Craig Allen, Illusory Beata, Paul Rose, Old Man McGuck at Leon from Rensburg, October Tiger, Graham Clutterbuck, and Ray Bands for Craig Allen makes up the numbers. There's 17 horses in the Sydney Cup. They're at the start here at Randwick, and away they go on the soft ground, and a good break by Mose and Busker Briggs. Is a reluctant early leader out wide. Illusory Beata is moving forward, and Paul Rose Illusory Beata is now moving forward to take it up from Busker Briggs in second. There's a line of about eight horses behind it. Out wide, King at night. Poked, uh, Old Man McGuck has moved up into third. Then comes October Tiger. Ray Bands behind that. Then Roaring Hawk Hybrid in October. Dilemma. Nine lies behind that. Uh, King at night is one from the rail. Then comes Arena Response on the inside of Harold Tedley. There's about six lengths first along. Last or eight is first to last, and Illusion Beata takes them along for Paul Rose with Busker Briggs in second. Old Man McGucker on the outside of October Tiger. Ray Bands up the center of the track, King at Night on that one's inside. Then comes Lion Lives on the outside, followed by um, Roaring Hawk. Then Harbury in October. Rena Buswans is on the rail. Charming Princess for Dave Woody behind that one's traveling wide. Then comes Lakeland Highlands. Hidden Stance Beam and Dilemma at the back of the fields. They pass the stands for the first time. And about to go off on their final circuit, and Illusion will be harder for Paul Rhodes is going to pass the winning post in front this time round. So one circuit of the track to go. Illusion will be hard to the leader from Busker Briggs in second. Then comes October Targa, who's passing that one for Graham Clutterbuck. Old Man McGucket behind that, followed by Ray Bands with nine laughs on that one's inside. Then comes Punta Rosso, who's trapped wide. Uh, beyond that is Reader Response, has a rails run on that one's outside. Hybrid Ted Lee. Then comes Lakeland Highlands. Charming Princess behind that, traveling wide as well. B on that one's outside. Uh, then comes Hidden Stance for Craig Allen in the back of the field is the Lemma. That'll be Paul Rose's second runner. So Illusia Beata now six lengths clear of October Target in second. This was on the outside of Busker Briggs, then Old Man McGucket, followed by Nine Lives. Ray Bands has been pushed along. Out wide is uh, Harbour in October also travelled really wide is Punta Rossa. Uh, Reno Response got a dream run up the inside. Also going well is Harbour Tedley. King at night of those ones outside. Then comes Roaring Hawk. Lakeland Highlands is trapped wide. Then comes Grey Horse. That's Charming Princess. Followed by Dilemma in between uh, Beam and Hidden Stance near the back of the field. So Illusion Beata takes them along. They've got six villains left to travel. Clear from Busker Briggs. He's about three minutes back in second. Uh, Old Man McGucker trying to make a forward move. is now Past October Targa, Nine Lives is behind that. They're followed by Harbury in October. Ray Bands on that one's inside. Then comes Rena Response, also trying to move forward. Is Punta Rossa, King at Night. He's starting to struggle. Who are Tedley behind that? He's moving forward. Out wide of that is Lakeland Highlands. They've got four fullers left to travel. From the back of the field, Dilemma is trying to get going, but they have to get this Illusory Beato. Still clear with three and a half fullers left to travel. Basket Briggs in second. Then comes Old Man McGucket. In the in between horses on the outside of that is. Um, October Targa, Nine Lives is behind that with Punta Rossa. Herbert Tedley is somehow switched wide. Reno Response still on the rail. Then comes Harbour in October. The two Craig Allen horses behind that. Ray Bands and Hidden Stars, but they still have to get to Illusion Beata. The two fronts have to travel. He's traveling well in front. October Targa now starts to throw down the challenge. Reno Response is finishing strongly with Nine Lives. It's Illusion Beata with a flow and left to go. In front from October Targa, but here comes Grand Planet. October Targa, Reno Response is the big threat up the outside. And it's Vinnie Gerald's Reno Response who comes to hold forward with an October Tiger. It's Reno Response and October Tiger. Reno Response, October Tiger. That's very close. Very close. I'm not sure who won the Sydney Cup. Reno Response and October Tiger flash past as one. Looking at the replay, it looks like Reno Response has won. There's a steward's inquiry. <laughs> There's a steward's inquiry. Uh, nothing happened in the Stewart's Inquiry. Arena Response holds on to win the Sydney Cup for Vinnie Jarrett. Another big one for him. October Targa finishes second for Graham Clutterbuck. Unlucky in second spot. Nine lives is third for Joshua Thudlin. Who loses behind to Paul Rhodes, the long time leader, finishes fourth. Hidden Stance came from the back to finish fifth for Craig Allen. And Basker Briggs was behind there for sixth for Joshua Sutherland.